Okay, this is a video on antiretroviral agents for HIV AIDS treatment. Before we begin talking about the actual agents, the, the antiretroviral agents, let's look at the life cycle of an HIV virus as it infects a cell and proliferates. So we start with the HIV virus here that binds to the cell. This is a T cell, part of the immune system. It binds to a receptor called a CD4 receptor. So this is a CD4 positive T cell. And oftentimes it binds with a co-receptor called the CCR5 co-receptor. The two proteins on the HIV virus that help bind to the T cell are the GP120 and the GP41 proteins. GP41 kind of anchors it to that envelope and the GP120 is that outer protein that helps it stick to the CD4 receptor as you see here. So the HIV viral envelope fuses, we have the process of fusion, fuses to the cellular membrane and lets in the virus. The virus breaks apart, releases its viral RNA and performs reverse transcriptase. This is called reverse transcriptase because in cells we're used to seeing DNA to RNA. In this case, we're synthesizing DNA from RNA. So we're going from RNA to DNA using reverse transcriptase. The newly synthesized DNA is then integrated into the host genome, as you can see here, using an enzyme called integrase. And we can then transcribe that gene, that, excuse me, that genome, including the, the viral genome that's integrated inside of it to produce viral proteins, viral RNA that are packaged together and butted out of the cell. The viral proteins come in a polyprotein form. This is multiple proteins uh, that, that can be broken up using a protease. Protease is another enzyme. So when we break up those viral proteins, we can then reassemble that virus and bud out of the cellular membrane and create a mature virus that can go infect other cells. So this is the life cycle of, of HIV as it infects CD4 positive T cells. Now let's talk about the kinds of drugs that they have to inhibit the various steps of this process. Now the, the drug that, that inhibits, the first drug that we're going to talk about is called Maraverick. Maraverick is a an antiretroviral agent that blocks the CCR5 co-receptor. It allosterically inhibits this receptor. So you can imagine that if, if a drug is coming in and blocking this receptor, it might inhibit HIV from coming into the cell to begin with. This is, uh, this is the drug that, that affects HIV the earliest in its life cycle. But of course, with HIV, one drug is not enough. We have to use many more. Another drug that we use is called Zidovudine. And this is the first one that was discovered for HIV treatment. It blocks the actions of reverse transcriptase. It competitively binds with this enzyme and prevents it from synthesizing DNA from RNA. It, it terminates the DNA chain elongation while it's happening. So Zidovudine is a reverse transcriptase inhibitor. Another antiretroviral drug that we use is called Raltegravir, which inhibits the integrase enzyme. This one's a little easy to remember because we have the word Tegra here and the word Tegra and integrase. So Raltegravir inhibits Integra, integrase. So Tegra is in both of these words. Raltegravir is an integrase inhibitor. It prevents the viral DNA, the newly synthesized viral DNA from being from being integrated into the host genome. And one last set of drugs that we use is lopinavir and ritonavir, which block the protease activity. They inhibit protease, meaning that when this polyprotein is synthesized by the cell, we are unable to break it down and build a new virus out of it. So one more time, the antiretroviral agents that we use for HIV and AIDS treatment are maraverick, which block one of the co-receptors for binding and entry into the cell. Zidovudine, which blocks reverse transcriptase. It blocks the process of converting RNA to DNA. We block the integrase activity using Rel Tegravir, which prevents us from incorporating that DNA into the host cell genome. And then the combination of lopinavir and ritonavir block the protease activity, which kind of essentially 
prevents the, the assembly of, of a new virus uh, before being released out of the cell. Thanks for listening.